Welcome back to the Mallorca save here on FIFA 21. This will be the final season we do at the club. So as such, we're going to try and win as much as possible this year, trophy-wise. We have a sizable budget, but at the minute, only a couple of positions we're looking to strengthen in. And you can probably guess what they are if I show you my starting squad. Little bit obvious... There are um, two positions in particular, two specific positions that look a little bit lower than everywhere else. That being centre-back and that being goalkeeper. We have a budget of... That's the wrong tab. We have a budget of £145 million available to us. We have Marco Asensio joining us as I will advance the day and that, uh, that transfer will go through on the way towards... The first game. We have about £10 million available to us to uh, add to the budget if we're able to uh, win this pre-season tournament, which is unlikely, but we stand a chance. In between when you last saw me and now, uh, we've... Uh, Marco Asensio joining and Senho is leaving. He's gone to Benfica, so one goalkeeper is gone. We do have some players on the transfer list. Those being Carlos Mane, Coque Vegas and Kim Min Jae looking to replace all three players. Asensio has replaced Mane, effectively. Coque Vegas, we're looking to replace. So I need a new starting goalkeeper, please, and a new starting centre-back too. You will have seen from my transfer list, I have a handful of players on that shortlist from your suggestions in yesterday's episode. But I need more, please. And uh, hopefully you guys will be able to offer me suggestions. Feel free to offer me suggestions for those two positions, but feel free to also offer me suggestions for what you think we could do with money. That's like controller stops working. What we could do with any money we have left over, because there are obviously other positions that we could further improve, and Villarreal have offered me £84 million for Lucas Robertoni, which I shall reject. I obviously don't want to lose him, but Chelsea offer me some money for Kim Min Jae. Now, he's valued at £20 million. They've offered me 21, and his release clause is double, basically, what his valuation was. So about £20 million. I'm obviously trying to sell him, looking to sell him, so I'll try and negotiate for as much as I can. But I think anything over 26 or 27 is probably going to be unlikely. I'll start at 30. If they accept that counter, then wonderful. If they negotiate from there, we will negotiate. Not willing to budge much, are they, Chelsea? Not willing to budge much at all. In which case, I'll come down considerably. Wow. Surprised that Chelsea won't go that far. Okay. Good that we've had a bid for uh, Kim, but slightly odd that they weren't willing to stretch that little bit further for him. We don't want to rip ourselves off. We get 2-2 draw against Al Ali in the first pre-season game. PSG beat Sporting, so they're top of our group currently. We will be second. And... Uh, Al Ali will be joint third. Another bid for Kim, which is good news. 21.6 from Monaco on this occasion. Are they willing to negotiate a little bit? Of the two, you'd have said Chelsea were the ones that had the most money to spend. But perhaps Monaco are the side that are willing to pay that little bit more for a player that would have more of an impact on their starting lineup. Obviously, Kim Min Jae wouldn't go into the Chelsea starting squad. They're just perhaps looking to pick up a squad player on the cheap. And, well, I'm not looking to sell anyone on the cheap. They don't want to pay any more than that, though, do they? How about 25? I don't really think I want to sell him for any less than 25. And they will agree at 25, Monaco. Thank you, lads. Now, what we want to achieve personally is win as much as possible. But the question is, what do the board expect of us this year? Youth development-wise, that's not important. But it most certainly will be for the series that will replace this one after this season. being That being the youth-only road to glory. Brand exposure... We did that last year. We kept a clean streak of nine clean sheets in home matches last year and signed one player from a different nationality from the club. That should be easily done. I am hoping to sign uh, a number of domestic players this season, though. So if you can, offer me Spanish options for that goalkeeper and uh, centre-back slot. Uh, that's the only high option we have this year. Financially... Just make a profit from youth players. We'll be able to do that quite comfortably. But they do want me to do a domestic double. Win La Liga, win the cup, and reach the final of the Champions League. Now, if you're going to get to the final of the Champions League, you kind of want to win it, really, don't you? So we'll try our best to do a treble this year if we can. But 
I don't know how realistic that is. I hope it's relatively realistic because we do have a good squad. Pippa, transfer bid for him for Athletic Club, which we will reject. A transfer bid from West Ham for Mane, which we're very much open to negotiating. 30 years of age now. We'll propose a new transfer fee of... I can't be too bullish, can I? Because he is 30. I'll ask for 12 and a half. They might accept that. 11.6. You know what, David Moyes? You can have him for 11.6 million. We're not in a financial position where we're needing to maximise everything to get uh, what we want from the squad. There is... Did I just accept that? I didn't. I panicked and thought I just accepted that. Let me negotiate. Oh, I certainly didn't want to accept that. Oh, no, I did. I did accident end negotiation. I accidentally accepted that. I wanted to negotiate it. Thankfully, we've been able to get out of that. Otherwise, <laughs> we would have signed a player we don't want and only got 900 grand for the... Oh, <laughs> that was close. Pay a little bit more attention next time. Hey, cheese, Noid. So, Marco Asensio is with us now and already will jump into the squad. Whether he jumps into the starting lineup ahead of Musa, I'm not sure. Obviously, Musa will be a player that will have much more of an impact in that position than Asensio. But if you guys think that Asensio should start on the left, then I am open to starting Asensio on the left. And maybe even Gineppo with that pace could be more of an impact on the left-hand side from the bench anyway. Obviously, for simulated games, having the higher rated player would make more of an impact. So... Maybe that will do us a favour in this game against Sporting coming up. A win there would do us... Oh, Chelsea won and Dicker. Now, let me bring up my spreadsheet because we may well have to offer some new contracts around for the sake of uh, release clauses. Now, on Dicker's release clause is currently 90 million, so we don't need to worry about that. I feel comfortable enough rejecting Chelsea. So I'll have a look through and I'll offer contracts to players who I feel need them for an increase to their... Uh, release clause but those that don't need renegotiating i i won't he's turned down the move to monaco kim interesting leicester have shown an interest in signing bird we'll delegate that to just a loan thank you and sassuolo have bid for coke vegas 14 and a half million pounds which is to be fair significantly above valuation he does have a release clause of 16 coke so i will ask for 16 and hopefully, they'll agree that. Coco Vegas leaving for £16 million, perhaps. No, 15.2. Ah, for the sake of 800 grand. Go on, then. Coco Vegas will be leaving us as well to go to Italy by the looks of things. We'll auto replace all of those players that are away on international duty at the moment. Obviously, it's having a significant impact on our starting lineup. But not significant enough that it stops us from winning the game against Sporting, thankfully. So that should be us through then to the next round of the preseason tournament at the very least. Another bid for Ndeka here from Valencia of 57 million. Again, he's got a high uh, release clause, so we don't need to worry about doing that. And we don't want to sell him anyway. Mane sold a Kim Min Jae bid from Betty, so offering me Borja Iglesias. Now, I don't need or want another striker, really. Kucho was great for us last year. Um, let me propose another. Who have they got in goal, Betis? Mm, Joel Robles. Not really what I'm after. What about at centre-back? Anyone we could... Not really anyone we'd consider wanting, actually. So we'll remove the exchange player. And if you'll pay some money for him, then you can have him. But I imagine they'll walk away from this. Right. Great. Good. Great. That's that deal done, then. Uh, well, that went better than planned. Uh, <laughs> great. We'll get the money we want for Jack, provided he'll agree a contract, of course. We draw 2-2 two -two with Paris Saint-Germain. So we're through as group runners-up, I'd imagine. We have Arsenal next. Coke Vegas now sold. Bird has agreed a one-year deal, or Leicester have agreed a one-year deal with Bird, or for Bird. Whether Bird agrees to go on that loan uh, is now up to him. But as we progress further on, we should have a relatively simple scenario ahead of us now. Having moved on a couple of the players, if not all of the players now that we were wanting to move on. Um, it'll take some hard work. Hey, me, I don't think you're the man. Uh, it'll take some hard work, Bella Cotta. I don't think you're the man either. But Kim Min-jae has gone. So the goalkeeper has gone. The 
Uh, centre back has gone, and now I need the improvements to come in before the start of the league season, which is not too far away. Obviously, we have uh, still a long way to go between now. Oh, we beat Arsenal by two goals to nil. Hello, West Ham beat Paris Saint Germain. You never know, we might end up winning this preseason tournament after all. Go on, the boys. A Dominguez transfer offer from Nice. Dominguez, release clause of 90 million. Don't want him to go. Sorry, not going anywhere. Bird loaned out. I'm pretty sure Dominguez would rather stay for squad Champions League football than first team Ligue 1 football with nothing really behind it. So, right, West Ham. Any players in there? Oh, is a decent right back. All right, one thing I did want to show you, actually. We win the preseason tournament. Go on, the boys. We get 10 mil. Total from that tournament. Wow. Unexpected. Very, very unexpected. But more than welcome. More than welcome. Right. Schalke above me 3.4 for Avila. I will reject that. I'd rather send him out on loan, if anything. We'll set those youngsters that aren't currently set up to go out on loan to go out on loan. Now, you guys have asked previously to see what Brenner's rating is. He's grown again now to 92. And uh, Ismail Kassas is now 90 rated at Juventus. So uh, the players that have left us have mooned since leaving. The players I currently have on my shortlist are Saith Alonso, who's putting performances against us for Hetafe, Pacheco, who's putting performances against us for Sevilla. Jurgensen was a suggestion taken from yesterday's episode. Unai Simon is one of the highest rated Spanish goalkeepers left in the save. And Melier is obviously six foot five and a very capable goalkeeper and still at Leeds. With 87 diving and 88 reflexes, could be a very good signing. Uh, centre backs, we've got Hermoso, Pau Torres, Eric Garcia on the shortlist currently. Obviously, Hermoso probably less likely at Chelsea, but Pau Torres at. Uh, at Leipzig is definitely a go-to and Eric Garcia being another Spaniard is at Everton has not necessarily just joined them either so should be available but whether he's going to be of the rating we need I'm not sure we have to bear in mind we are now a title contending Champions League side so we can really kind of prioritize almost anyone but we we have only done it for one year so perhaps we perhaps we haven't established ourselves right at the very very top and if we are to pick someone from one of the best clubs in the world, it would have to be someone like Asensio that hasn't really been getting first team football for the past season or two. Nice to see uh, Bay up to 83 rated. So he's continuing to grow as well, which is good news for us. So I'm going to go and sort some contracts out. Uh, you can see from the schedule, we have Athletic Club to Bilbao, Valladolid, who are back up, and Barcelona. I apologise for not checking the um, the... Other leagues in the season roundup yesterday, or the player stats for the league uh, in La Liga yesterday, it just it slipped my mind. I was just in the flow and probably <laughs> too devastated from losing the La Liga title to actually think clearly and get everything in. So I apologise for that. Did I save that? I did just save that. So that's where we'll leave it for today. We have at your disposal... Uh, I just clicked the wrong tab again. <laughs> Second time I've done that. You have at your disposal £200 million-ish. To find me a world-class centre-back and a world-class goalkeeper, please. And if you think there's anything else we can do to the squad, then let me know. And perhaps we will look to do so. But I'd like to give some of these youngsters that we have at the club still the chance to have a go this season in, say, the Copa del Rey or the lesser league games that we end up playing. So... I probably won't sign too many players outside of these two, at least for the first half of the season. Then maybe we rethink that ethos in January. But there are some youngsters that could really do a job for us. I'll go and put them all in position or uh, off camera. So looking for a centre-back, looking for a goalkeeper. If you have Spanish options for me, then preferably Spanish options to get some more domestic players into the side because we don't have many Spanish players uh, in the side at the minute. Mainly in Sua and Asensio, really. That's kind of it, isn't it? Morientes might be Spanish as well, actually, but I'm not entirely too sure. Yes, he is. But outside of that, we don't really have any any other Spanish talent. There's Pippa, who's not first team. Velasquez, who's certainly not first team. He should still be on the loan list. He's not. I'll put him back on the loan list. Uh, there's Avila, who's uh, obviously not anywhere near first team football. The other Avila, who's not anywhere near first team football. Uh, 
Federico and Sua is are still potential to be special youngster. Expecting him to grow into the 90s this season, hopefully. And uh, outside of Vadejo, who again is going to go out on loan. And Asensio, who we've just brought in. That's it, domestically. So we certainly should look to perhaps sign some more domestic players. And I'll resave there from the uh, changes I've made. Right, that will do us for today, boys. Obviously, in future saves and other saves outside of Spain, where there's a, a big gap between uh, pre-season and the start of the league season, obviously, we would go as far as the first league game. But in this save, with the way that the scheduling is, this is how we've done it here in Spain. We'll be back to English football for the next save, and to be fair, with it being youth-only region, the first season at least, we won't be looking to anything other than use our youth scouts, so you won't have any transfer action to do in the first episode of that series. But for now, we're all about this series. We want to win the Champions League, we want to win La Liga, and we want to win the Copa del Rey, because we should get some silverware, shouldn't we? Christ, two Copa del Rey finals so far, and still no silverware to show for it. And knocked out in the round of 32 stage of the Europa League last year, we certainly have a reputation to try and rebuild at Mallorca. And to try and turn around, because currently our reputation is that of bottlers. Two cup final defeats, early knockouts in Europe, and then losing the league title in the final episode last season. We can't need to build up my reputation, let alone Mallorca's. That will do for today's episode, lads. Links in, the links in the description? Yeah, I guess. Links in the description down below to Twitch, where I'll be streaming all of this afternoon. Going to be streaming all day, and then going offline around about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock-ish, to then go and record tomorrow's episode of this save once I've got your feedback from this episode. Uh, drop the video a like if you've enjoyed, of course, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell tick so you don't miss out on any more of this save or, of course, the future series coming. I haven't yet decided which League 2 side I'm going to manage with. I'm leaning towards Barrow, but I may do a vote on social media. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, link is in the description down below and uh, that's probably where I'll do that vote. But for now, that's all for me for today on YouTube, but I am live over on Twitch, so come and join me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you either there or back here tomorrow, where we will make some big signings, we hope. I'll see you then.